think there's nobody else stood up there? Right? Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you all here today as we celebrate the wedding of Kirsty and Billy Ross. Yeah. For those of you who don't know me, my name is David. And for those of you who do know me, my full name is actually David. Do you want a pint? <laughs> so if I meet you the more later on, can you call me by my full name, please? <laughs> now, with this day fast approaching, I knew I was going to have to prepare a speech. So with the help of a few mates, we sat down to put pen to paper. So there was me, our base, the Heineken brothers, <laughs> McCarty and his new girl, Pink Jin. <laughs> they were useless. They just sat there and did nothing. You know? And then, I want to see what it says here. <laughs> <laughs> that agent Buckfast turned up. And he just didn't have it. He was useless. But eventually we got there, and this is what we came up with. Sorry. Sorry, can you give me one minute? Ladies and gentlemen, just give us a few moments short for me there in the Uh, there's a little woman I 
moment. Oh God, I'm actually a bit nervous about making this speech. In fact, this is about the third time today that I've had to get off a warm sheet with a piece of paper in my hand. <laughs> but let's hope it's on this paper as well as on the other. <laughs> but seriously, a good speech is like a mini skirt. It has to be short enough to be interesting and long enough to cover the essentials. <laughs> so let's cover the essentials. Weddings take a lot of organizing, so I'm told. What would I have? Okay, and from the day Billy and Kirsty got engaged, our house became wedding center. And so I became a wedding planner overnight. <laughs> Every day I would arrive home to get a new parcel, and when I asked, how much did that cost, or do we really need that? The answer was always, it's a need to know basis, you don't need to know. I just give up asking. With saying that, I would like to say a big, big thank you to Jillian, because without her hard work, we wouldn't be celebrating Billy and Kirsty's wedding today. Don't be getting carried away here. I don't even know what I'm planning. I mean that early night we had 27 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, Kirsty. <laughs> Growing up, Kirsty was a clever child and always quick to learn. When she began to talk, one of her very first words was saturated. <laughs> I can take the credit of the blame for this, teaching her to say when her nappy was wet, it was saturated. <laughs> her mom was not amused. But anyway, from an early age, Kirsty inspired to teach throughout her school life, which started carried off primary and then on to grow her grammar. Her attitude to teach continued to grow, and then after three years of strand with us, she graduated with a first class honours and achieved her goal of becoming a primary school teacher. This was one of the proudest moments of my life. Well, she first didn't get to win this year's Champions League. So. <laughs> and now I believe it's customary to say a few words or spend a few minutes bragging about your new son in law. I have three pages of notes here, Billy, but I can't read your writing. <laughs> and I'm supposed to officially welcome Billy into the family. As you know, Billy, you've always been part of our family. And what really helped was, I've been a bit partial to Curry. <laughs> I didn't know I was getting a Billy Ross Curry. <laughs> I just remember, Billy, there are three rings in relation to all weapons. First is the engagement ring. Then it's the wedding ring. And finally it's the suffering. <laughs> and we've all been there. So the best advice I can give to you is happy wife, happy life. <laughs> so take heed. And just to finish... Oh, I have the lyrics of a song that I want to read here. And they're dedicated to Kirsty. Entitled, On This Your Wedding Day. The first time I saw you, I loved you with all my heart. The first time I held you, I knew someday we'd part. Today in church, I give you away. I had tears in my eyes on this your wedding day. It's hard to imagine a baby so tiny and small is now a young lady of beauty, so pretty and tall. You look so lovely in your wedding dress of okay as you walk down the aisle on this your wedding day. Your mother and I have nursed you through many a heart and pain and if we had to, we'd do it all over again. We've watched you grow into the woman you are today and are so happy and proud of you on this your wedding day. Today you've married Billy Ross and I'm happy to call him my son. He's the one you have chosen above each and every one. I know he'll love you and care for you each and every day, just like your mom and I on this your wedding day. So that just leaves for me to say, I wish you and Billy every happiness on this your wedding day. Can <laughs> everybody be outstanding to raise your glasses to you, Mr. and Mrs. Curry?